Hello and welcome to this video. In this video we're going to talk about which version of QuickBooks you should be using, not only now, but in the future. Let's take a look. Hello, my name is Aaron Patrick. I'm a chartered accountant, a certified UK trainer with a fancy new logo, that QuickBooks chap on the internet, and also head of accounts here at Boffix. Now, today's video, we're gonna be talking about exactly which version of QuickBooks you should be on, and also making sure that you're on the right version for the future. And also, I'm gonna give you a little bit of an insight into what's gonna happen going forward. So, without further ado, let's get into what it is we're gonna do. You see, currently in the UK, we have four different versions of QuickBooks, and I want you to think about it with a big line in between here and here, because, the way that it works within QuickBooks Online is even though there's four options for you, there's only actually two decisions to make. And this decision is really critical. You see, you need to make sure that you either go with QuickBooks Self-Employed, which is own self-contained product, or QuickBooks Online, which is split into three different versions of the same product. It's really important you decide you want QuickBooks Self-Employed or QuickBooks Online. So if we look at this graph and look about it in a little bit more detail, you can kind of understand what we're talking about here. QuickBooks Self-Employed is sat here, and these three are all the same product, QBA. And as I go through talking about these items today, remember that basically you've got this division between QuickBooks Self-Employed and QuickBooks Online. So first of all, what's the difference between the two? Well, QuickBooks Self-Employed was always designed to be a solution that was for the simplest of simplest of needs. And really was designed for that gig mentality more than anything else. So for example, if you're an Uber driver or a delivery driver, or if you had this, this extra piece of income that was coming in, if you only had one invoice to raise 12 over a space of a year, then that's where QuickBooks Self-Employed becomes really powerful. Because QuickBooks Self-Employed is a self-contained, its own product away from QuickBooks Online. And the majority of the content we talk about on this channel is QuickBooks Online related. So think back to literally 95% of the videos we've done, that's been concentrating on the QuickBooks Online product. QuickBooks Self-Employed, which I've done a couple of videos on in the past, is that whole view where you just get to see your bank transactions going in and out, and it's very simplified. You don't get the left-hand panel as, as integrated as we used to, and it's very, very, very simplified version. Now, the reason it's important to understand the difference between do you need QuickBooks Self-Employed or QuickBooks Online is because there's no bridge between the two. The beauty is if we look back here and we look at these three items, well, it doesn't necessarily mean the end of the world which one of those items you choose. You see, these items here, you can move between simple start to essentials. You can even go back to essentials and back to simple start. You have all the options in the world that you need to be able to get that exactly how you need it to be. And you can move between simple start essentials plus, plus essential simple start, relatively straightforward. In fact, it's instantaneously, it's just about you actually moving and paying that extra additional if you're moving up or getting a reduction if you're moving down. Whereas self-employed, because it's that standalone product, you can't move from self-employed to simple start, for example, you're gonna lose that data and lose that adjustment. So self-employed sits here and the rest of the items over by themselves. So first of all, why would you want to use self-employed? Well, as it says here, it's all about making it really, really simple. You can see here, it's designed to be the most simplest. And the biggest indication of which version of, of QuickBooks you need is if you need to have VAT registration or not, or ever need VAT registration. If your business is only ever to have small amounts of income coming in, and that small amount of income is never gonna hit that 85,000 limit for VAT registration, then you should be pretty secure and safe in staying on self-employed. If you've got a growing business though, that okay, starting off small now, makes sense not to have too much money going through, for example, makes sense to have that simplified product now, well, that's all well and good, but the second you hit that VAT registration and have to become VAT reg registered, you're gonna have to move your whole software from one solution to another, which could be quite a strenuous and difficult situation at that point. Now don't worry, we've done a video on how to move from self-employed to QuickBooks Online in a snap, but it's still gonna be that one extra element for you. And something you may not need or may not want to consider 
when you're growing your business. So VAT registration and also the size of your business amount of transactions are gonna be the most important thing to decide if it's QuickBooks self-employed or QuickBooks online. Now, once you've made that decision, and again, the smallest of small companies go with QuickBooks self-employed, but very, very few of the people that I'm talking to and seeing we find QuickBooks self-employed is the right solution, then you're gonna choose QuickBooks online. Once you've made that choice though, that's when it gets more tricky in terms of which version you need. But remember you have that added bonus that you can jump between those versions at any point you need. So let's have a figure out of which version will be right for you. Well, all three of them give you the opportunity to have Go Cardless and PayPal integration, which is one of the big benefits of QuickBooks Online. All three of them give you the chance to connect your bank account, upload CSV files, and scan and store paper receipt using that receipt scan set. Uh, solution. All three of all three of them now give you the chance for mileage as well, so it's slightly out of date on this one. All three of them give you the chance to do cash or accrual basis. All of them have the chance to do bank reconciliation. But the first big change is multi-currency. See, multi-currency can only be in the essentials or the plus version. So if you've got a business who needs to deal with multi-currency, and that's the first indication that simple start probably isn't going to be the right solution for you. Then we get into the bits where you get some great opportunities to make some differences in your business. And that's when you've got projects, stock and budgets. So projects is the ability for you to man manage. We've done a whole video on it, but you get to see those individual aspects of what's happening with pro projects. You get to track your stock and you get to do budgets all in the plus version. So that highest version of QuickBooks Online. Those three are kind of those three that come up most often as reasons for you to need to go into that top tier version of QuickBooks. Budgets is a huge one for a lot of businesses. The ability to start planning ahead, looking at it and understanding it on much more of a granular basis of how their business is doing. Not that many people are that important, find stock that important, but that has been a factor as well. But then projects and departments is huge for some companies. Some companies live and die on being able to project manage and be able to make sure those projects can work. And plus is the only way you're gonna get that opportunity. All of them give you the chance to do personal tax now. So that's been updated since this was done. All of them give you the chance to do VAT and CIA. So you can choose on any of them ones. All of them give you the chance to do, I get access from your mobile phone or tablet, which is fantastic. All of them give you a chance to do invoicing. And the other bit where you see, start to see a big difference is the amount of reporting. So when it comes to simple start, you get about 20 odd reports, and then you jump up to 40 odd reports on essentials, and finally 60 plus on the plus version. Now, the type of reports there are more about looking into more detailed elements. So even though it looks like you get a lot more reports in the plus version, most of those reports are related to those extra features. So the budgeting and the projects, those sort of items. Manage contacts for all of them, manage products and services in all of them. Credits and refunds and statements and track and review timesheets can only be done by essentials and plus going forward. And it's also important to know that bills as well is only available in essentials and plus. So if you're someone who's not just looking at doing your cash basis accounting and want to actually put in a bill that you're going to pay off at a later date, you're going to be forced at that point to go to essentials over simple start. Payroll is with all three products. Purchase order is only with plus. You can customize user permissions, client supply communications and connect apps on all three of them. And it's the app ecosystem, which is another big reason why QuickBooks Online versus QuickBooks Self-Employed is such a big deal. There is no app ecosystem whatsoever on QuickBooks Self-Employed, whereas QuickBooks Online has the option to connect to lots and lots and lots and lots of different options. Now it's all well and good to be looking at those items and by going through that list, you will hopefully be able to see which one's right for you. Now, if you do need some extra advice, then over on the Boffix eStore, which we've got a link to below, not only can we give you discounted versions of QuickBooks Online, but also we have a little test so you can go through and find out which version of QuickBooks Online is right for you. Follow the little quiz and that's gonna tell you which one's right for you. So utilizing that is gonna help you massively. But it's okay kind of deciding now what's right, but what about the future, what does that hold? Well, if we look over to America, you'll see that they also have four, but they don't have QuickBooks Self-Employed. In fact, QuickBooks Self-Employed is completely gone and it's replaced by Advanced. And effectively what that means is they have a fourth tier within QuickBooks Online so that you can actually do even more going forward. A QuickBooks Online Advance isn't available in the UK just yet as of recording, but it is something that we definitely have an inkling is on its way. 
And if we look at what the American product has, it's going to give us an indication of what we might be able to expect later down the line. So with Advance, you can manage your employee expenses much better. You can batch invoice and expense using this amazing batch tool that we've shown on the channel before. You can customize access by role a lot more fluently. So you get a lot more decision on who can see what within your business. You get exclusive app integrations that are only available for advanced, and most of them are about having deeper integrations. So one of the ones we've looked at is in the past is Square, having the ability to really hone into how it connects with QuickBooks Online. Dedicated account team, on-demand online training, automated process and tasks, and restore company data. What it also highlights there is about the users. And in QuickBooks Online, users can be something that can be a break for you. Now at the moment, again, as of writing, you get two users for simple start, you get three users for essentials, five users for going with plus, or if you use Boffix's eStore, we can unlock that to unlimited users for you, which is another little perk of coming with us on QuickBooks Online. Also telling there is the fact that QuickBooks Self-Employed isn't on the US store as of this moment in time. And that seems to be an indication of what to look out for going forward it seems to be that we could be in a position where we don't get to use QuickBooks Online. You see, with the fact that we've got Making Tax Digital on its way and the fact that QuickBooks Self-Employed doesn't seem to be getting any MTD enhancements coming its way, or yet anything that we've seen lately, then that does indicate that maybe QuickBooks Self-Employed isn't going to be the same QuickBooks Self-Employed. You see, QuickBooks Self-Employed doesn't seem to have that emphasis going forward. It doesn't seem to have that same structure and everything. So, by the looks of what's being built and what's happening, it may be a case that we're not going to see QuickBooks Self-Employed in its current integration going forward, which may give you a reason as to which one to choose going. Unfortunately, we don't have a crystal ball, so we don't know the answer, but it does look like QuickBooks Self-Employed may not be the best solution to pick now if you're thinking about software for the long term. And there we have it, the solutions that are in QuickBooks Online and which ones are right for you. Now we've done videos on all of the different aspects, including projects and everything else. So if you do want to catch any of those videos, please consider looking at subscribing to the channel. And we've got more videos on the way. We're gonna really deep dive into all of these extra features and how they can affect you and your business. But at the moment, the big decision to make is do you want QuickBooks Self-Employed or do you want QuickBooks Online? Personally, it looks like QuickBooks Online is going to be the best solution for the majority of you out there then you need to decide Simple Start, Essentials and Plus. Nothing wrong with you starting on Simple Start and then upgrading if you need to along the line. As a cheeky little bonus to you for getting this far in the video, if you use the discount code below, which is QBC100 trial, that's QBC100 trial, then you will actually get yourself 100% discount on using QuickBooks Online. My little treat to you to say thank you very much for coming this far into the video. Let me know below, is there anything else you need to know about making your decision? What else do you need to understand before you decide which QuickBooks license is right for you? Remember, you can jump up and down those different tiers. So it's not the end of the world if you haven't made it, at least be starting on Simple Start and you'll be absolutely fine. Comment below though if there's anything else you need to know about making that decision and I'll make sure I do a follow-up video. My name's been Aaron Patrick. I'm really grateful for you to come along with me on this journey of figuring out which QuickBooks Online is right for you and your business. Make sure to like, subscribe, tell your friends about this channel. We're doing really, really well at the moment. It's all thanks to you guys for watching, sharing, and everything else. So please continue the great work. My name's been Aaron Patrick. It's been a pleasure to do this video for you. And I'm sure I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now. Cause I can get him out of my head I don't care what we do, everything's really new Even if we stay in bed My heart is saying yeah, 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 yeah You know I want him nah, 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 nah My heart is saying yeah, 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 yeah
Hello and thank you for watching that video. What you may not know is this channel that you've watched this video from is part of a wider group. That wider group is called Apple Core Production. And the three channels that we have involved are as follows. Aaron Patrick, the QuickBooks Chat. Boffix Tax Tip. Finally, we have Apple Core Live and Geeky. All the links and everything are down below in the description, but it really mean a lot to us if you can go and give a like to the other channels as well.